body beautification. For example, let's take a look at plucking your eyebrows. Plucking my eyebrows. Is it permissible for me to pluck my eyebrows as a female? You know, there's no, uh, for, uh, there's no one saying that is forbidden for you to pluck your eyebrows. But if your eyebrows are plucked in a manner that makes you look attractive, it, it changes your uh, image completely. Either you'd have to lower your hijab to cover this because your hijab's not working now, or you would have to cover your face. This is what the ruling would be in that case. If it's done to that, there's a complete change in your look. And there's every single faqih, when it comes to this issue, says that if a woman's face is a head turn, her face is that attractive, she must cover it. Yeah, and there's no um, question when it comes to this, when it comes to hijab in this manner. Let's take a look at shaving your body. Shaving your body is, is good, it's hygiene. But one of the biggest problems we have is people uh, shave uh, or, or wax their, 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 their nether regions, the private parts, but they get someone to do it. And this is a problem. They say, hold on, I'm going to get someone to wax for me. You cannot get even a female to wax your private parts. The only person you can get to wax your private parts is your spouse. And likewise for a male, same thing as a male can't go see another male to wax his private parts or another female. The only people that can wax your private parts is your spouse, no one else, or yourself. There's no other way that this can be done. This is for, and it's not an emergency. It's not an emergency. I'm having a state of emergency. I need to, to clean the ancestors. No, there's no state of emergency. You can, there's so many hair removal creams. This home removal wax that people do it themselves. And, and in that case, it is forbidden. There's no um, walking around it and trying to find a way around it and saying it's permissible.